Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you this great tool we have to help you determine the number and size of hard drives you should choose for your Unify Protect system. But before we do that, I want to talk about why you should choose a surveillance grade hard drive. Unlike desktop hard drives, surveillance grade hard drives are designed to be written to 24 seven. They're also designed to work in high heat and vibration environments. And many of them also include a good extended warranty. And some of them even include uh, data recovery services should the hard drive stop working. The two most common brands and the brands that I recommend are Seagate Skyhawk AI and WD Purple. With that in mind, let's take a look at the tool. So this is our project calculator for Unify Protect. It's pretty simple to use. On the left hand side here, you can put in your cameras. Uh, you can give them a name if you'd like. You can also choose the model of camera and you can choose what video recording quality level you'd like to record at. And you can see as I make adjustments, it immediately starts recalculating uh, everything on the right hand side here. So as you put in your cameras, you can also put in the um, number of days that you'd like to retain recordings for. I generally recommend 30 days for most people. That's just a good round number. Um, and you can see down here, it calculates the amount of storage that you'll need. Now over here, uh, there are three options for a RAID strategy. For those of you that don't know, what RAID does is um, basically it, it spreads your data across multiple hard drives while also adding redundancy. I'm not going to go into what each of the different RAID levels do. Some of them do things a little differently. Some of them offer more redundancy. Some of them are slightly faster, uh, depending on which system you're using. Um, I'm not going to go into that now, but there are some great resources out there if you're interested. So you can choose, um, if you leave it on any, the calculator will determine um, pretty much every possible combination of uh, RAID levels you can use or just no RAID and uh, which capacity hard drive and how many you should buy for each. So you can see for these two cameras for 30 days on a UNVR, um, it is recommending you know four or three terabytes if you want to run it in RAID 10. Uh, and also there's uh, these Amazon links here to help you easily find the hard drives. Uh, we'll earn a small commission if you use those links, but it doesn't change your price. Uh, you can also choose most redundant. So this will um, show you only RAID options, uh, either most redundant or least drives will only show you RAID options. So that will limit um, here in uh, November of 2021, the only Unify recorders that support RAID are the UNVR and the UNVR Pro. So that's the first thing it'll do. Um, most redundant will generally show you RAID 10 because it is the most redundant setup that's available. If you choose least drives, that's generally good for expandability. It'll recommend a smaller quantity of larger drives. That way, if you want to add more cameras and more capacity in the future, uh, you'll have a smaller number of hard drive bays occupied. Down here, it will uh, calculate in general terms how many switch ports you're going to need. So in our case, we only need three switch ports, uh, the camera and the recorder. So most of the current Unify switches will work. But if we add additional cameras, this uh, will start to get filtered down. Because we are not using the UDM Pro here, we're using the UNVR. It's also letting us know that we uh, will need a router because the UNVR or UNVR Pro does not uh, have routing capabilities. Additionally, if I switch this to a G3 Instant, you can see it's now telling us we also need to add Wi-Fi to our system. This calculator uh, doesn't recommend uh, routers or Wi-Fi. Um, that's sort of up to you to decide. And just as a side note, just because you're using Unify Protect, you don't need to use Unify routing, switching, and access points. You can mix and match things pretty easily. They're all just standard network devices. Um, the important thing is that you should use Unify cameras with a Unify recorder. So I am going to populate this and add some more cameras. And then uh, we'll take a look at just an example of what a project look like, looks like once you have it filled out in here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and entered in an actual real life Unify Protect installation that I did a couple years ago. So you can see here there's 16 cameras, all with different names, different model numbers, and different levels of recording quality. If I wanted to, I could grab any of these and drag them around to rearrange them, but I'm happy with how they are there. So you can see for 30 days, um, I've got it just under 30 terabytes at 29.97 terabytes. 
So you can see that uh, these are the available options it's suggesting for the UNVR, and it's going to suggest even more options for the UNVR Pro. And that's the really cool thing about this calculator, is it gives you several options to choose from where you can choose your balance between number of drives versus the individual capacity of each drive. But if you want to simplify things a little bit, again, we can use these tools up here. So if you just want the most redundant option, you can see it'll suggest uh, RAID 10 configurations with the largest number of drives for each recorder. Or if you want the least number of drives, perhaps you might want to add more cameras in the future, you can select that too. And you can see it's now suggesting three very large 16 terabyte drives. Um, this switch calculation down here is also taking into account the PoE wattage requirements of all the cameras. So based on the number of cameras I have here and their wattage requirements, you can see it's suggesting the USW Pro 24 port PoE switch and uh, these other two switches are also options as well. Just a couple of quick notes, this tool is neither affiliated with nor endorsed by Ubiquiti, and you should always double check equipment compatibility yourself before you purchase anything. So I hope this tool was helpful to you. Uh, if it helped you create your perfect Unify Protect setup, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. I'd also be happy to answer any questions you have. We'll see you next time.